Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Theo Tutkalak with Amateur Sports TV. The privilege of joining me today, Coach Brad Platt and Harry Mahesh, assistant, head coach and assistant head coach with the Pilot Mountain Buffalo Midget Female Hockey Team. You boys are about to start practice here soon. So real quick, how has the season started for you thus far? So far, I would say it's been pretty good. I mean, uh, we had a really good weekend here where we went 5-0. and uh, Before that, we faced a couple of tough tough teams that really tested us, but you know what, so far I'm happy with where we're at. Okay, Coach Brad, what do you need to focus on here in these upcoming weeks to get this team rolling in the right direction? I mean, f winning the last five is great, but how do you continue the momentum? Yeah, it's been a great start, so the attitudes are good and energy level is good, but skills, um, endurance, and conditioning, there's a lot of stuff to work on. Even though, yeah, we came out of the weekend 5-0, and oh, there's there's still a lot of room for improvement, and, and I look forward to getting these kids through the, through the paces here. So if we had to call it game shape, would that be the right thing to look at for the next upcoming weeks here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, game shape, uh, just all around skills. That's what the academy is about. Uh, it's not only you know, winning games. We want to develop these kids, and that's the, that's the goal here in the next couple weeks. So let's talk about the academy for, for a little bit here. It's the second year with the female team. Yeah. And how is the recruiting and how is uh, getting the word out about Pilot Mount Hockey Academy to potential uh, new students in the program? It's, this year I, th I think it went pretty well. Um, once you have a year under your belt, you know, you can kind of, you know, speak to more of what the league's like um, rather than there's less unknown. Um, you know, we were able to recruit a good crop of first year players that I think are going to elevate us and it should make recruiting easier. Obviously. Uh, winning programs have a little bit more success recruiting. Um, but I'm thinking, you know, we're still new to it. Um, and, you know, we're open to taking girls who are willing to learn. Uh, so we don't want to, you know, jump too far ahead right now. But, you know, we're, I think it's, it's going to get a little better. I see on the roster you have about seven or eight 2019s that will be graduating this year. Uh, how are they leading the team uh, the way you'd like to? And what do they need to work on? They're leaving. The, they're doing a great job. Um, I, the whole group in general has been gelled, gelled really well. Like uh, our returning girls, you know, it's it's a lot easier having those girls to know what the rules are. When we started last year, first year, it's like okay, we gotta hammer down on everybody. Let everybody know what the rules are in the dorms and the in the rink all around town. Having those girls come in and having returning girls here makes it a lot easier to get the, have those returning or the new girls come in. But on the ice too, it's, uh, you know, they know what we expect of them and, you know, we don't have to harp on the new girls what's expected. So explain to us, th there is a league, but there's also, the league involves a lot of traveling, correct? Now, which, now where you've been to Penticton this past weekend, where is the team headed next outside of the Pilot Mound area? We go to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho in about three weeks two, three weeks. Uh, we are in Morden uh, for the Thanksgiving kind of showdown classic. Uh, but yeah, we'll be on the road um, to Idaho in a couple weeks. And then we have a real busy November. We go back out to Calgary. We go down to Minnesota for Shattuck. So Delta, Delta yeah, out in Vancouver. So it's going to be busy. We're going to have five, five weekends where we're on the road for about four or five days. So real quick, lastly, exposure for the team i mean you're going to all these great cities these different areas geographically in north america many of these players haven't seen these areas what do they get to enjoy outside of hockey when they go to see places like Coeur d'Alene or delta or shattuck i mean I'm, we're pretty familiar with shattuck but when you get to go to these places they have a little bit off time to see and do things they normally wouldn't do as a high school student oh yeah there's lots of downtime we get a we we fill in we don't just sit around doing nothing that's that's not good on anybody's uh physical and mental state so we uh, like in Penticton we did some walks through the town down to the the water and the beach and uh, when we do some of these trips time doesn't always uh, allow for it but trying to set up like school visits trying to do some tours of some uh, facilities uh, different arenas or different schools we always, we're constantly racking our brains trying to keep these kids busy. There's not a lot of downtime. It's either hockey, study time, or else we're doing some kind of activity. 
Anything like that, Harry? Yeah, I mean, on the way up there, you know, we went through the Rockies, and a lot of the girls hadn't just done that scenic drive before, so that by itself, you know, for some of them kind of is something neat, and, you know, they're excited to share with their family that, you know, they're also out exploring, and, you know, it just makes it the whole kind of weekend a little bit more fun. Right on. So, said so three weeks we're in Idaho. Thanksgiving is in, in Morden. Morden. Uh, look forward to seeing some ice time for these ladies, and congratulations on a great start to this season. Coach Harry Mahesh. Brad Platt, Pilot Mountain Buffalo's midget female hockey team.